Hey everybody, it's B Diz the Rockstar, part of Super Obvious. In this video, we're talking about the Friday the 13th Part 7 Fan Fade Remake or whatever that shit's called. Let's go. The reason I decided to check this out is because Friday the 13th Part 7 A New Blood is my favorite movie in the franchise. The movie takes place about 13 months over the original Part 7. We see an older Tina in a medical facility in an interrogation room being talked to by Dr. Cruz who like super died in the original. We look back to when she was younger and is in the CCLRF, the Camp Crystal Lake Research Facility, where she uses her abilities to move this metal object, which is a lot heavier than a pack of matches, which is a nod to the original. There is another patient named Rose who killed both her parents and her powers are supposed to be like 10 times stronger than Tina's. The base of the movie is that they know that Jason is at the bottom of the lake after the ending of the original and they want Tina to summon Jason again. There are a bunch of doctors, military personnel, and the special team of soldiers that are waiting for Jason. During a bunch of the movie, nobody is pretty much doing anything as far as preparing if Jason was to arrive. The military people are doing a little bit of surveillance. The medical people, Tina and Rose, are playing video games and card games, and the soldiers are drinking, playing cards, and talking a bunch of shit. Rose tells Tina about how this girl was being mean to her and she used her powers to choke the girl with her own pearly necklace and break it, which is a nod to what Tina did in the original. We also have someone playing the Duke from Jason Goes to Hell and he has the blue jean shirt with a brown vest, cowboy hat, and little cigar that he always had. And there is a part when someone asks him for some info and he replies by saying it's very expensive while holding his hands together. And that's a nod to Jason Goes to Hell when he kept snapping that guy's fingers for info when they were in holding cells. You ready to yes. Are you sure? Yes. Oh! So when the movie has like 20 minutes left and it's kind of sort of damn near over, Tina and Rose are being experimented on and Tina does bring Jason back. And oh man, pretty much every single death that Jason does is brutal. He rips the skin of the cleaning guy's face off like he's going to give it to Leatherface to wear as a mask. He punches a guy's heart out, stabs someone under their chin and he can see the blade in their mouth, throws an axe into somebody's face and then takes it out to kill somebody else, gouge the guy's eye out when he only had one eye left and then breaks his neck and there's a whole lot more. The climax of the movie is when Rose uses her powers to summon Michael Myers. Him and Jason stare at each other for like a whole minute and then they fight for like a whole 20 seconds and then Rose transports them both away. But Jason is still there and stabs her through the back. Tina wakes up back to current day where she has one of the staff members talking a whole bunch of shit to her until Jason appears behind him and kills him. Tina starts using her powers where Nick shows up from the original. Tina makes Jason crash through a wall and it looks like he's gonna fall forever or something. As far as the movie, the acting wasn't really that great, but it's okay. The presentation was like C-level quality, maybe lower, but it's okay. It was very bloody with Jason killing everybody. And actually, IMDB gave this movie a 6.9 out of 10, which is surprisingly high. I appreciated it, like I said, because part 7 is my favorite in the franchise. Having the original Tina and Nick, I definitely appreciated. Having the Duke in it was also cool. I like how they played Tina's theme music from the original, which was played whenever she used her powers. And just some of the references from the other Friday the 13th movies, which big fans would like. Oh, Jason himself did look pretty cool. But yeah, that's the video. Let me know in the comments if you've seen this fan-made movie and let me know what you thought about it. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Totally for sure.